Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, um, we're diving into some exciting news for all you Linux and Debian enthusiasts out there. So, uh, grab a coffee, breathe in deep, and let's talk about APT 3.0, the latest Debian package manager that's totally revamping the way we manage packages. Okay, so here's the rundown. The Debian project just released APT 3.0, and it's part of the new stable series that um, comes with a completely overhauled command line interface. If you're anything like me and love that clean, efficient terminal experience, you're gonna love what they've done here. First up, let's chat about the new look. APT 3.0 sports a um, super sleek columnar display. What does that mean? Well, it organizes the information into columns, making it so much easier to skim through package names and details while you're updating, installing, or even removing packages. No more squinting at cluttered outputs, you know? And uh, how cool is it that the new UI actually supports colors? Red for removals, green for everything else. That's like having your own color-coded assistant right in your terminal. This little touch not only makes it prettier, but also helps you spot key details at a glance. Now, breathing in a little deeper here, another thing to get excited about is the new, smoother install progress bar. It uses Unicode blocks to make tracking the progress a lot more intuitive, which is a neat upgrade for anyone who's tired of the old clunky bars. The revamped interface isn't just about aesthetics either. It's less verbose, offers more padding between sections, and... um really helps in extracting the relevant information without feeling overwhelmed by a wall of text. I gotta say, it feels like someone finally listened to our complaints about the old UI. But wait, there's more. APT 3.0 introduces a brand new solver that you can activate using the double DAC solver option. This basically means that APT can now fall back to non-candidate versions and makes auto-remove a bit more aggressive. It keeps only the most essential packages automatically installed. For those who like to keep their systems lean and mean, this is a game changer. Alongside that, APT 3.0 brings a bunch of other improvements, support for dash dash target release in apt list, a new comment option to log comments in your history, uncompressed indexes from partial files slash mirrors, which is pretty neat if you're into optimizing your updates, a Git-like automatic pager that mimics Git behavior. So if you're a Git fan, this will feel right at home. And, um, Initial pinning information in apt show dash full plus support for Debian ports, modernization, and even a modernized sources command. It even takes care of technical details like correctly calculating the kernel size in slash boot, switching support from GNU TLS to OpenSSL, and adding transaction support alongside an upgrade count for PKGD per cache. There are also plenty of documentation and translation updates to wrap it all up. One of the most touching parts of this release is that it's dedicated to the late Steve Langasek, a beloved Ubuntu and Debian contributor. His impact resonates through this release, making it not only a technical milestone, but also a heartfelt tribute. APT 3.0 will be the default command line interface for the upcoming Debian GNU Linux 13 Trixie, which is slated for release around June to July 2025. And if you're running Ubuntu, fret not, it's also coming your way with Ubuntu 25.04 later this April. So in summary, APT 3.0 is here to make your life a lot easier with its revamped, modern, and user-friendly command line interface. Whether you're a seasoned Linux pro or just getting into the world of Debian and Ubuntu, these improvements are sure to enhance your experience. If you want to dive deeper, be sure to check out the official release announcement and maybe download the source package if you're feeling adventurous enough to compile it on your Debian-based distro, that's all for today, folks. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more tech updates and drop your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep it geeky and stay curious.